In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put a logo on the hat like this. But first, I want to say thank you to Matt Finley for showing me his process. The way he adds logos to his hat is a lot easier than mine, so I'm going to show you his process. The first thing we're going to do is go to Google and type in the logo of the team you're trying to find. Click on Images, and then click on the image you want. Right click and save your image. Alright, so after you're done saving it, you're going to head over to MakerWorld.com. And then you're going to click on Maker Lab, and then scroll on down to Image to Keychain. Click on Start, and then click on Create from Blank, and then click on Browse File, and then upload the file that you just saved. And then you're going to want to remove the background, and then change your image thickness to 6 millimeter, and then click on Confirm. It'll take a minute to generate, but once it's finished, you can go ahead and click confirm and then change your color matching. If you have different colors in your logo, you'll be able to color match it and then make sure it's six millimeters, hit download, download STL, and then now it's in your downloads folder. So now we're going to open up the hat file and then click on the hat, make sure it's selected, go over to objects, click on text, right click and delete. So we can get rid of that text. So now we're going to right click on the hat, go down to add part and then load and go to your downloads folder and load that file that we made over on maker world. Now it'll look like this and we have to shrink it down. So go ahead and click on resize at the top. Now click on the corner handle and pull that down. Make sure uniform scale is on and then we're going to move the logo closer to the hat and then we're going to shrink it just a little bit more. And then this time we're going to turn uniform scale off and make sure Z is around six millimeters. That'll make it really thick. Now click on the move tool and move the logo back into the hat and then click on the blue handle and pull it up and then click on the rotation tool and we're going to spin it around. Now sometimes you'll click on the hat and then you won't be able to move the logo. So just reselect the logo and then you'll be able to move it again. So everything here on out will just be moving the logo into position. So we're going to use a combination of the move tool, the rotation tool, and the sizing tool. Now I like to make my logos a little bit larger just to make sure that they come out on the printer. And also I like to turn the logo like this just to match the natural angle of the hat, the tilt of the hat, so it looks a little bit more natural. Now one thing you want to look out for is make sure your logo is thick enough so that it goes into the hat and it'll be able to print. So now all you have to do is slice it and then send it to the printer.